Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a mini haul. This is a combination between high-end and drugstore. So I hope you guys like it and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay notified as to when I upload. So if you want to know what I got, keep on watching. Gosh, am I held if I actually like open these up so I wasn't sitting here like a pleb trying to do it for you guys. So this is in no particular order. Um, I'm going to start out with three new shades that I got from Inglot. Now, please don't ask me what shades they were because I can't actually figure out how to get them out of the pan. So I have one of these 10 shade holder magnetic palette things that you can buy from them. And I've had these ones here for a little while now, probably since Christmas. And I went to Adelaide to see the uh, my new nephew and I picked up some more shades. They look like this. They're so pigmented, the quality's amazing. And they're only $12 a pan. And I know that sounds like, ooh, $12, I'm talking Australian dollars. That sounds a lot, but you get 3.2 grams in a pan and I don't think anybody is gonna be using that in a rush. I think you get a pretty good amount of product for what you pay for and especially with the quality. So I was really happy with that and also at Inglot I got one of these sort of like brush cleaner things. Um, just you, I guess you just soap up your brush and scrub it on the thing like that. I thought that might come in handy since I don't have anything to clean my brushes with. Yeah, so the next product I got was at the drugstore. Uh, I know these have been out for a while, I just haven't got around to picking them up. And also, I don't need any more blush, but why not? I got two of the NYX Ombre blushes. I got one in Mauve Me, um, and it looks like this. So pretty, I have swatched this. I think I'd use the sort of like top half of it first more than anything just because the bottom seems to be very dark. Maybe when I'm tan it'll look good. It looks like this. It's got a really nice sheen to it and I'm super excited to use it. I think it even might be a dupe for the uh, Hourglass Mood Exposure. Let me get that. Okay, so this is Mood Exposure and then that is Move Me. And you can see that this part here is quite similar. I'm actually going to swatch Mood Exposure next to it. Okay, so can you see that? I think they're pretty similar. If you don't want to fork out a whole bunch of cash money bling for a blush and you really like Mood Exposure, I think Move Me is a pretty good dupe actually. So the next ombre blush I got from NYX is called the nude to me so the i think it was the dark coral one that was screaming out but i've got so many coral blushes but look at pretty how pretty that is again i've swatched it i'm super excited to use it i'm just going to swatch the top half i even thought that the bottom half could be a bronzer for me because i am quite pale so we'll have a swatch of that i'm just going to swatch the top half oh See, that even looks like a bronzer on camera just there. So that could be like a bronzer topper. Or if I put a little bit of fake tan on, it could be like a really nice J-Lo glow. I'm actually going to swatch the bottom part of that. And so, wow, it's quite red actually. Yeah. I know it doesn't look like it on camera, but it's actually pretty red. So um, I probably wouldn't use that as a bronzer. But the other part of it is pretty good. So chuck those they came in those packets so i'll chuck those out now the next item i got i got quite a few nyx products actually i need to um build a better drugstore collection just so i have uh, a wide variety for you guys and i'm not alienating anybody the next next product i got was the uh, roll-on shimmer and i got it in the shade salmon i th when i swatched this i thought it was really really pretty in the store it does have glittery chunks in it, so if you're not a big fan of that, you probably might not like this. No, you can't see it on camera, but how pretty is that for like an eyelid shade? Oh, it's so pretty. And I also picked up another NYX lingerie lipstick in the shade 7. I have 3 and 11, so I thought this one was very up my alley. It is a really nice nude. And it's got sort of like a beigey hue to it, and I just love those shades for my lips. 
So the next product that I have is from MAC and I got picked up a MAC pigment and I got the colour tan and it looks like that and the lady at the store said this was like the most famous one. I have heard a few YouTubers go on about it and holy shit, excuse my French, but this is pretty. I like this. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. With a little bit of Fix Plus, that thing can go into overdrive. So I'm really excited about that. Now the last product that I got is from the new um, Peach Collection by Too Faced. I didn't pick up the palette. I just felt that I had so many similar shades in my collection and I just can't justify spending $70 on a palette that I already have. I'd rather pick up something really different and new and that I can use and it just adds a bit more variety to my makeup collection. So what I did get is the Sweet Peach Glow. Um, it looks like this. I am so into that blush and it smells like, I, I want to say peaches but like a fake peach. So this is the highlighter, um, the bronzer and the blush. Give those a swatch. So they look like that there. I do feel the bronzer is quite light. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Um, I really do like the highlighter. It does have like a slight peachy pinky hue to it, which is quite nice. I don't really have a highlighter like that. Um, so I thought I would pick that up. I can't wait to play with it. So yeah, that is my mini haul, guys. Um, I did have some other stuff coming, but I couldn't wait to play with this stuff and show you guys. I get really excited when I get new makeup. It's like Christmas every time I get new makeup. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.